Hello. Welcome. If it's your first time here, welcome back if you've been here before. I'm Whitney and I do 20 a minute makeup. I have fixed my hair today. It's a lot cuter in person than it is on camera, but we're going to steal some of my daughter's hair clips here and just clip the sides back out of our way. My hot iron is still on so I can touch it up. Oh, maybe I should just wear it like this. <laughs> um, Anyways, I do 20 minute makeup looks. I love bright, fun, colorful, but wearable looks, but sometimes I do neutrals and that's probably gonna be today. So today is not my last day at my job, but it is my last day in the office before I move on to new adventures. So I have been in this role, I've been at this company for nine years. So I have a lot of deep connections with some people there and We'll be saying goodbyes today, and that makes me very sad, so there'll probably be some crying, so I will pack a kit <laughs> to fix my face. Um, so I'm going to keep it pretty simple today, hopefully. I always say that, and then I always end up with, like, these huge, like, smoky, glittery, crazy eyes, and I'm really just trying to keep it simple today, um, all over. So I am still prepping the eye area with my Morphe Filter Effect Concealer because I want it to stick around just in case I don't cry my eyes out all day. And let's see. I've got my Love in London palette from BH Cosmetics. I think this is what we're going to work with today. And I already have a neutrals brush. I'm going to just whack this around on my cleaning cloth, which I need to clean because it's been a little bit since I washed that. So tap that out on my hand, make sure I'm not getting any coverage. Okay. So I'm going to start with this light brown here. I'll just have to do this called scone. And I love this shirt and would love to do some like fun blue and green, but I really feel like something a little more casual is called for today. So we're going to keep it casual. Maybe. We'll see. Like I said, I may end up going crazy. We may do like green eyeliner or blue eyeliner. Ooh, blue mascara. That'll be fun to cry off. Um, I'll actually probably wear specifically my Panorama mascara from L'Oreal just because even though it is not waterproof, it does seem to have a little bit of a harder time coming free. So and I will probably only do top lashes today. All right, I think we need just a little deeper brown. So I'm going to come in with this one here now called Cheers. And just bluffing that in. Bluffing, buffing, blending. I really like this brush. This is a tapered blending brush from Elizabeth Mott. I think I got it in an Ipsy many years ago, but I love it. It's nice and fluffy and soft and just the right size. I need to do just a little bit of something darker, so I'm going to come in here. This color is called Lovely. I want to create a little bit of depth here. I feel like I sound like I know what I'm talking about, but look, see, a little different. While I'm at the office today, I'm going to do some work, obviously. Socialize with my friends that I will miss very much. Uh, have some lunch, and then I'm going to hit up Old Navy. I need to get pajamas for my kids, and... Well, I almost exclusively shop for them at Target because of the Cat and Jack exchange program. They don't have like summer pajamas, like springy pajamas. There's no shorts or it's just onesies and it's all Carter's brand. And I, I don't really do a lot of Carter's brand. I don't feel like it fits, especially my oldest. The fit is weird. Um, but old Navy jammies are cute and they fit. So we're going to try those. All right. I think that's it. Um, I'm going to come in with some shimmer. I could go with a green shimmer, but I'm just going to go with this light colored shimmer here called Cheeky. Putting that on my thingy and just gonna tap that out. 
pop that on here. Hopefully no one will be disappointed that I'm not going to show up with my usual array of batshit crazy makeup on today. For the few people who know I'm coming, I did not like let the whole place know because not everybody knows me or cares. But I let my solid feet in. Okay, I think that's good. We may have to do bottom lashes though. Oh, we are going to go ahead and put some eyeliner on. I do not own a waterproof eyeliner, so I'm going to go with a pencil. Um, I just think that's going to stick around the best. Oops, I got a lid. But not the rest. I don't want you. Um, I'm going to try to find, yeah, this Morphe pencil in dark room. Actually, you know, I think I'm going to go with a brown today. I have a brown one here somewhere. I know I do. Here it is. It's a NYX. Uh, which is a little... A brown, if you can see that. I don't know if you can or not. And we're just gonna fill in the lash line a little bit. Okay, that makes just such a huge difference. Huh. Okay, other side. Try to keep it nice and tight over here as well. And yes, I'm stretching my eyelid out to hold it still. Otherwise, my skin just pulls and skips and I just want it to go on the way I want it to go on right now. Hello. Me pulling my highlight is not a new tactic. Okay. Not like super obvi, but they do look a little bit fuller. So that's good. That is what I wanted. And it's nice and soft, not super harsh. We're going to come in with the Panorama from L'Oreal. if we can get away with just a top top lash here Yeah, I think we can do just top lash. Let's do this other side and see how we feel. I do tend to wear a little less makeup in the springtime and summer. And rope all over that lid. We'll let it dry and spoolie it off. Um, so I am looking forward to some lighter applications than I would typically wear. That's good stuff. Pretty sure my powder is in the other room, so I'm going to take a quick run away to grab that in a minute. Okay. We're going to pop a second coat on over here. outer corner. And we'll just go a little bit on our light over here too. It's okay. Let it dry. Spoolie it off. Okay, 
while that dries, let's go on ahead and hit up these eyebrows. Just use whichever brow pencil I come up with first. And that is this Auburn one from uh, L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. I'm just going to comb through them real quick. Okay. <coughs> Yeah, let's get started. A little bit more brow. That's all I want. other side a little tummy rumble there if that picked up I don't know if it did or not if it didn't my tummy just rumbled <laughs> Okay, we got a couple sisters and then a, look a little harder on this one. Okay, coloring that good. Pop the lid on that. Grab my trusty spoolie. We should be dry enough over here to just brush that mascara off. If you don't know this hack, it has been an absolute lifesaver because I am a messy mascara applier. Uh, if you get it on your lids, under your eyes, whatever, don't try to rub it off. Don't go in with like a wet Q-tip. Let it dry and then go at it with a clean dry spoolie and it will just scrape right off. Like, this is not the softest spoolie in the world. I don't think any spoolie is the softest spoolie in the world. They're not meant to be scraping on your skin, um, but... It works really like it's magic. You can't even, you can't even tell. You can't even tell. Oh, love it. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Allergies. Yuck. That was gross. Okay. <clears throat> and I use just a little bit of my Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation today. Again, we are keeping it light because most of this is going to get cried off at some point. So I'm not worried about having a ton of makeup on. But I do want, I'm just going to use this today. And just bring that around. Mostly the reason I'm using anything at all today is because my, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, that's never going to stop. My moisturizer has SPF, so it's super shiny. Um, and I don't like super shiny face. I like matte face. So I'm going to go over that with my matte poreless fit me foundation. Okay. There is that. I'm going to go grab my powder. Look at my bed that's covered with my kids clothes from this morning for 15 seconds. And I'm back. And I have my matte poreless fit me foundation. We're going to do some blush first. Uh, I want to keep it simple today. So I'm going to use this color from the Maybelline Fit Me line. It is, which was this one, Plum. Just want to have a little color in my face without being too crazy. <clears throat> Excuse me, goodness gracious. All right, grab my applicator here and just gonna tap 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 this around okay I actually did a light look uh, let's find some lipstick we'll use this Pat McGrath skin flicks yep all right 
I'll leave that out because I will want to reapply. I kind of like it clipped back, but not with these big ass clips. So we'll take it down, juice it out. And that is it for today. So I'll probably add some earrings. I'm not going to mess around with a lot of jewelry today. Um, but this is the super simple finished look. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to like, subscribe, drop a comment. Um, if not, sorry, this wasn't your cup of tea. And if you were here for something bright and bold, come back Friday because I will definitely be doing something purple. Um, so have a great day. Thanks for stopping by. See you next time. Bye-bye.